Hey, what is signs? Welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Empress Sneak, and I am here to shine some love and light on your path and give you some spiritual guidance and awareness of anything that you may not be aware of that is coming toward you. All right, I hope you guys are doing well. I miss you guys. Long time no see. Thank you guys for your likes, shares, and subscribes and supporting the channel. Let's go ahead and get started. So, underneath the bottom of the deck, we have Twin Flames. So, I feel like very strongly, and I did your pre-shuffle, somebody here is regretting a decision that they made or crying over spilt milk. I feel like there's a situation that happened. You are very attached to someone. Um, and either you or this person is feeling regret about something that happened, something that you did. All right? Somebody did something and they feel really bad about it. All right? They keep thinking about this. Um, and I also saw that they want to reach out. Somebody wants to reach out. They want to reconnect. They want to bury the hatchet, so to speak. I mean, I feel like this was just left on, 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 on pause. You know, it was an ending, but it was still like not completely ended properly. Like the doors weren't closed properly, not all the way in locked. And I feel like the ties weren't, weren't severed like they're supposed to somebody's heart was broken too bad to even do any of that somebody just walked away and was like all right whatever and and they didn't address their feelings they didn't it's like some secrets and all this stuff that never got resolved so let's go ahead and get into this energy um cancer pisces scorpio and let's see what's happening here but this definitely is about somebody who really loved each other and it was some type of twin flame connection so let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. Thank you for bringing me here with my collective water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Thank you for all you do with the Divine Realm. Seeing and unseen blessings you bestow upon us each and every day. We thank you for giving us messages of clarity, truth, love, and light, blocking and binding all negative energy, entities, witchcraft, and wickedness that may be trying to come up against this channel or your divine will for our lives. We thank you for victory in every situation we may face and abundance and overflow amen let's go ahead and get into it y'all how y'all doing talk to me in the comments don't be shy all right i love my water signs all right so somebody is focusing on self-care here feel like somebody's trying to protect their energy there's a retreat or a time out between you and someone and in the meantime in between time you loving on yourself all right i see seeds planted in the spring so maybe some type of seeds that you planted last spring are coming to fruition now, or either you're planting seeds now, you're thinking about what you want, you're manifesting. Somebody could plan on talking to someone, planting seeds that they hope get watered and grow into something bigger. I feel like somebody definitely is thinking about the past. Somebody's thinking about something that they need to do. It's like this has been on your mind for a very long time. Um, maybe you feel like you overreacted. I feel like somebody feels like they went too far. They did the most. It's something that you did and you never apologized. Somebody never apologized, either you or the other person. Somebody didn't apologize here, all right? And somebody here has been taking care of themselves. So we have this apology. Nurturing, somebody could miss how somebody used to nurture them and love them and care for them. Now this person is guarded. Now this person is guarded, okay? So it's something here absolutely about something that took place. I feel like this was really bad. Whatever happened, it caused a huge tower moment. I feel like, and two people were separated. For one person, this was the end, inevitably, like just overdone, no. And then for somebody else, it was just like, they'll be back or I'll be back. We'll fix this eventually, or I guess we won't. It's something like that. It was so much confusion all right i feel like just a lot of confusion here so let's go ahead and see what i feel in each of these cards so nurturing i feel like this is what you and this person used to do nurture each other i feel like you guys helped each other through tough situations you guys were each other's support system and i feel like it was just you guys and you worked together to get through the hard times all right Self-care, I feel like there was a need to take care of yourself or somebody needed to heal their energy. It was something about you guys working on healing your energy here, both parties, okay? Um, and so you separated to do that. Somebody felt like the only way they could heal is to separate from the other. It was too much conflict and chaos and friction. I feel like it was friction, a lot of friction here. 
All right. And somebody just feels like the only way I could fix things or balance my energy is to separate. Okay. Could, be, could have been dealing with the fire sign. I got earth here and water. So somebody could have been dealing with another earth sign, a fire, I mean, a earth sign, fire sign, or a water sign. Okay. Um, then with this apology here, I feel like there was a lot of crying, a lot of pain. So this wasn't something lighthearted. This was something deep and it was a bad argument, a lot of hurt and a lot of unanswered questions here. Like there's a lot of unanswered questions. And I think that's where this apology is coming from and asking for forgiveness. All right. So seeds that were planted in the springtime, something didn't get watered. It was something that was supposed to happen that never happened. Something that um somebody started but never finished. Somebody never spoke about how they feel. See, this is water and it's upside down when you're looking through here. See, this is right side up and this is upside down. So I feel like everything just reversed. It was just like what was supposed to be beautiful and grow just turned upside down and was stuck. It's like somebody was stuck emotionally, didn't even get to express themselves. Um, yeah, I feel like this seed is a seed. This is water in this, in this seed. I feel like it's emotions, all right? Somebody could want to plant a seed of love, okay? But there's distance here and somebody is guarded. You had to get away from each other. Yeah, I feel like there was a lot of fight and a lot of arguments. Somebody just, somebody was fed up and they walked away from the other person. The other person was walking back toward them again, dragging their feet, but still coming toward them. Nevertheless, wanting to talk things out and the other person had had it. They're like, no, you let me get this far away from you. No, I'm not coming back down there to hear anything. I'm done. Like this person left. Okay. So somebody was just sick of it and then guarded. Now somebody is guarded and feeling very vulnerable because they gave their heart to someone and <sighs> wow, everything just got flipped upside down. So somebody is just hurt. They made a lot of mistakes. They took in a lot of abuse. It could, but it could have been verbal abuse here, but some type of abuse. It was abusive, like, and it has this person guarded. I feel like both people were guarded. It's like you went from this to this. It went, it, you went from loving each other and being close two peas in a pod to. Like, I hate you so much right now. Like, it was just like that kind of anger. So, wow. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what else is going on in this situation. Then we'll, um, let's use, um, these Island Time Wellness cards. And then we're going to clarify with the Tarot. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Gods. For my water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And you could have them, the placements anywhere. This might resonate with you. The runner. So in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy and listening to ego, somebody listened to their ego and they were in a very loving and nurturing relationship and they ran away from it. I feel like somebody misled somebody who was very much fully invested. And this is what caused the drama, the turmoil, all the hurt and hatred. Okay. Yeah. So this could have been you or the other person, but one of you. Got in this runner energy. So we got the runner here running away from somebody who was totally, when you get this close to somebody, you're totally invested. Okay. So somebody was completely invested in this and somebody ran. All right. They were doing their own thing, listening to their ego. Show me self care. Give me one more on the runner. A love call. So someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know this is what this person may be thinking about. The runner getting into this chaser energy, thinking about going after something now because that something never came back toward the runner. So now the runner wants to go and revisit something. Self-care. Take it how it resonates, guys. If it doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Put yourself in the story wherever you fall. Um, and leave whatever doesn't resonate for the next person, okay? Bits and pieces may resonate, or for some of you, the whole thing resonates. Self-care, show me. Paradise, okay? So happiness, expansion, joy. Somebody has been taking great care of themselves. They're very happy here. Somebody may have moved away. Somebody went on vacation. Somebody could be from the islands, okay? Um, or a place with water, Florida, Jamaica, Barbados, anywhere like that. 
Um, this is playfulness, oneness, and enjoying each other. So somebody could be thinking about joy, loving each other. Somebody is just feeling like they're in paradise, all right? Self-care, it feels great to take care of their self and have peace in their life. That's what I'm getting. And that is like paradise. Peace is like paradise. Yeah, they've been expanding, they've been growing, they've been working hard on themselves. This could be your soulmate, Water Signs, okay? Soul connection, a partnership agreement. It's a soul contract between you and this person. That's why it's so hard for you to just walk away. That's why this person still remembers you too. This person thinks about those things, and I really believe that you guys feel each other. When you think about, when one thinks about the other, the other feels it. I feel like you still are very much energetically connected because this is a soul contract that needs to be completed and it has not been completed. In this lifetime, it needs to be completed. Apology, forgiveness. And I'm getting, Sir just said, don't force it. Don't try to force it because then another explosion will happen. Okay? Talking, in interested in conversing more awaited message arrives text call email hoovering so somebody does want to talk to you about this somebody wants to talk about something they want to apologize to you they also want to apologize for not taking care of themselves like they should have been and not taking care of you seeds springtime wait what does this person what else does this person want to talk about oh this person wants to talk about how they stabbed you in the back or being stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, and a shocking attack. This person wants to talk to you about those things. Whatever they did to hurt you or whatever happened that hurt them, they want to talk to you about it. But I feel like this is the person that did the stabbing wanting to talk about it. Show me springtime seeds. Somebody could want to talk to you about your choices. Wow. Wow. Somebody could have found out that somebody has some type of addic addiction or was too codependent, too controlling and possessive. Somebody could have felt like somebody wasn't moving forward anymore. Somebody um, had some type of blockage here. It was like somebody got really sad and wasn't taking care of themselves. Somebody, look, felt chained up or controlled by love. It was just like they had to drag around this ball and chain with them and they wanted to be free wow yeah so somebody felt like they were being controlled they just felt like they weren't living their dream they weren't happy yeah and so they broke up they did things they sabotaged this on purpose um silent treatment abandonment stop the pattern break up separation so they were like we gotta i gotta stop this because they just got tired of it Somebody could have did this in the springtime. Yeah, somebody got sick and tired of this, like feeling controlled, feeling just manipulated or just dragged along. Somebody didn't feel like they were enjoying, the other person was enjoying them. They stopped feeling like this was a, a, a two-way street in a partnership. They started feeling like it was like a job. Distance or retreat or time out. We got receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. So somebody's having closure issues. Somebody can't close out this chapter because they need to talk to you first. Yeah, somebody definitely do does. Healing heart and a karmic relationship. And then we also have self-indulgence. So somebody needs to be focusing on self-worth and healing. Somebody needs to do some shadow work and show more self-appreciation or that's what this person felt. So they left them. And it's like this person did everything to sabotage the relationship. And then the minute the other person started actually looking heartbroken and acting heartbroken and not really feeling up to par, this person left them. They turned this relationship karmic. Feelings, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. So Spirit is saying this is what had to happen. You needed to heal your heart from this. Somebody definitely did. The other person felt really hurt. Yeah, they lost their self in this. They gave too much of themselves in this. This could be you, Water Signs, or it could be the person that you were dealing with. Guarded and vulnerable. So right now, this person feels guarded and vulnerable. Somebody does. And they're learning expansion, new phase, new phase and preparing for union. So somebody's preparing to meet their person. Somebody's getting their life on track. Because they want more. 
and they're going after it okay so let's see what else is here somebody is reminiscing a keepsake so somebody could have pictures of you that they kept and they're looking at them um perception so they're thinking about things thinking ahead and trying to figure you out figure out how you're feeling what you're doing learning from the past and wanting to make new memories so this somebody could want to tell you that they learned from the past water signs or you could want to tell somebody that you learned so much from the past and you love somebody here you want to apologize take it how it resonates now let's go ahead and get some tarot cards to see what the tarot wants to say about this connection somebody definitely feels left out in the cold i see the five of wands let's look at this runner spirit give me clear messages for let me get some bigger cards some other cards all right let's use these Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Guides, give me clear messages for my water signs. Please clarify this message for them. Show us more. Show us more about the cards that are here. All right, we got the runner, love call, and compassion and nurturing. Show me clear messages. Yeah, this person ran from this. If your love, either you or their love, was too much. Knight of Swords in reverse. So somebody no longer wants to rush in and do anything. They don't want to be reckless. I feel like somebody here has been thinking things over. Honestly, somebody, well, the Knight of Swords in Reverse is somebody who could be disregarding their consequences. So I feel like this could have been what happened here. Somebody doesn't want to think about what might happen if they call you anymore. They just want to do it. Okay. Um, this could be an air sign for somebody. But somebody wants justice. They're like, I don't want to, I don't care what might happen anymore. I just want to talk to them. I need to tell them how I feel. All right. So somebody's tired of holding back. Show me paradise, happiness, expansion, and joy. Somebody is going to express their love to you. This could be you expressing your love to somebody, but it looks like somebody here is going to make a move and the wheel is turning. They're like, time is of the essence. I feel this good energy. It's a perfect time to try. So somebody is going to be sending you a message or talking to you or you're going to send a message to somebody somebody wants to talk this over talk about what happened about this um this act this deception this hurt this heartbreak so somebody wants to talk about it and somebody wants to apologize here we go the three of swords um talk about these painful words or whatever happened all right but there's some type of somebody wants to apologize to somebody for having Making them a third party. Somebody wants to apologize for cheating, lying, manipulating a situation. Um, some of you guys have experienced being with somebody that had two people or you had two people. All right. But somebody wants to talk about what happened. I feel like somebody could have also got somebody back. Somebody could have hurt somebody bad and cheated. Then this person could have cheated back. But it looks like somebody wants to apologize for having a mistress or um, a, a, another lover. Show me clear messages. Somebody could have been dealing with an earth sign. Somebody could have been dealing with a fire sign. All right. Somebody could have been dealing with a, a hub. Sorry. But um, yeah. <laughs> and both of you guys could have been, you could have been dealing with both people at the same time. Somebody was definitely dealing with two people. Okay. Show me more. Manipulation here. So somebody manipulated this situation and they feel bad about it. Could be a Virgo here. Somebody um, somebody could have broke up or separated from a Virgo. Or somebody feels like Virgo broke their heart, hurt their feelings, and lied. Yeah, somebody from the past. Somebody feels defeated. So it could be a Virgo that you left feeling defeated, water signs, or vice versa. But I see you wanting to go back to this person. You're thinking about them. Yeah, somebody is thinking about somebody here. Here's this earth and water again. Y'all have really been thinking about each other lately. A lot of my were earth and water signs because, you know, Virgo and Scorpio are twin flames. Y'all are here to teach each other lessons. So a lot of my water sign and earth signs, not only that, just water and earth, you guys learn from each other. It's, it's um, total opposites. So you guys learn from each other. Not really to total opposites, but you guys nurture each other. You know, you help each other grow. 
you know, and you calm each other down. It's like both of you create some type of stability in the other's life. Uh, water teaches the earth signs how to loosen up a bit and let their emotions flow and not be so stiff like a tree. And then the earth signs teach water how to not be so turbulent like a big tidal wave or like a or just <laughs> like a typhoon or just a tsunami, you know. Um, earth calms water down, you know, like when water comes up against a tree or a rock, it goes around, it finds another way and it doesn't just blow over it all the time, you know. So they create some type of stability in each other's lives, definitely feed off of each other's energy and help heal each other. So it's very important, you know, for us to work together as a team and not be hurting each other all the time but you know life is life and we all have lessons to learn and we're here to teach each other lessons so that's why things happen like they do show me more somebody's being strong here all right somebody's being strong realizing that they're more stronger than they thought they're a lot stronger than they thought with this separation somebody is realizing like Hey, I could have did this the whole time. I could have walked away and worked on myself. But somebody here is trying to be strong because they really want, they're taming the beast. With this Virgo and this Leo on this card of power and strength, this is taming the beast. Calm, peaceful, loving Virgo tames this fiery and sometimes aggressive Leo, you know? So it's taming the beast. You see how the beast is calm. Virgo actually has the chain. He let Virgo put a chain around his neck and everything because Virgo calms the beast. So this is taming the beast, taming your urges and not lashing out or reaching out or doing anything fat too fast. But somebody here um, is thinking about it. Somebody is wishing for this other person. I saw the emperor card, so somebody could be thinking about being somebody's husband. All right, but somebody is trapped all in their head. Exactly, the empress came out again. Somebody could be trapped with a Taurus, very aggressive and not trying to let them go. We got Pisces and Cancer over here. Feel like somebody is guarded because somebody hid a Cancer. All right, so somebody was hiding something or Cancer feels like somebody kept secrets from them. Yeah, but here's the communication. Somebody wants to talk to you. I feel like somebody is definitely going to be sending you a message and this is going to shock you. So get ready for it, guys. Somebody is looking at your pictures and you're irresistible to them. They're regretting, sabotaging this connection. Look, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, wanting to date. All right. Somebody wants to, to do something here. All right, so this information is coming. Somebody is going to message you. I feel like that's a separate energy, honestly. I feel like that's just somebody that finds you attractive. But you got this past person really thinking about you and thinking about the things that they did. Somebody here wants to reconnect, okay? So I love you guys. Thanks for being here. If you would like a personal reading, you can book it at closer the number two, mydestiny.com. I will see y'all later. I love you and I mean it. All right, bye.